Well, the cooler weather is bringing some relief to coral reefs along Florida's coast, and more help could be on the way. Fox 13 photojournalist Mike Hughes reveals how Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium is employing cutting-edge genetic research to help preserve this endangered species. My favorite place to be in the world is underwater, and I've never experienced anything as magical as what I've experienced on coral reefs. And I can't imagine raising my children in this world without the magic of a place like that for them to visit. This is Moats International Coral Gene Bank, and all of these uh, raceways surrounding us hold corals of high value for species preservation. We're focused on saving species from becoming extinct due to things like really warm water temperatures. The way we do that is we study the corals. We make sure that they have what it takes to withstand high water temperatures or maybe even be exposed to a pathogenic disease and survive. So some of these species like this boulder coral and a lot of the brain corals are actually really tolerant to high water temperatures already. These corals are really important for propagating new babies, so making them parents for the next generation, and then utilizing those offspring for restoration purposes out on Florida's coral reef. Unfortunately, because we have such stressful conditions out on the reef here in Florida, we really have to study what corals can survive these threats that aren't going away. So a lot of our research goes into studying them by exposing them to different high water temperatures or diseases and understanding what makes each coral special. Like these staghorn corals, they can actually be really sensitive to high water temperatures. And so we're really interested in identifying the individuals that are able to be more heat tolerant. This is our baby growing system. It's where we take care of a lot of the corals that have been created and settled here at the gene bank. We grow them up to be about um, the size of a quarter and then they're ready to be outplanted onto the reef. They are the hope that we have that we can continue to do restoration even better so that those corals are resistant to the threats yet to come. I definitely wouldn't come to work every day if I didn't think this was possible. And I don't think I will ever stop and people at Moat and Moat as an organization will never stop pushing that research envelope forward until we succeed. The most shocking details, Moat researchers say, is over the past 50 years, we have lost more than 90% of our living coral throughout the entire Florida reef system.